Hello there and welcome. I'm Peggy. Oh, it's hard to believe it's that time of year, but it's almost time for the Scottish Games. And we have hailed, we've been hailed as one of the finest Scottish Games in the country. And of course, it's something for the whole family. And it's coming up Memorial Day weekend, and we have so much to celebrate. And you know, I'm thinking about it. In years past, when our country was new, we had many people come to South Carolina and North Carolina from Scotland. And they've settled there, and we still have them and their descendants. And we are so proud to have the games at Furman University. And I want to introduce two people that I'm proud to introduce. First of all, the Miss Scottish, Greenville Scottish Games. Mm -hmm. And she's a beautiful singer, Brooke Mosteller. Mm -hmm. Thank really you for coming. And you've got your crown. You're going to be in the Miss yes, South Carolina pageant? Yes, ma'am, in July. Okay, so you have a busy time ahead. I do, a lot of preparation. <laughs> and you are a senior now at Furman. At Furman, yes, ma'am. Political science major, and I'm planning on going to law school oh. next year at USC. Okay, so, well, that's I love the sounds, state so that's much. Sounds, <laughs> well, we're glad to have you here and to talk with you. And next to her, of course, is Dean Harbert. And Dean is on the board of directors for the Greenville Scottish Games. And every year, it seems to just mushroom. It does, it does. How many <laughs> years now? This is our seventh year. Okay, okay. Our seventh year. And the it's just a wonderful family event, and that's what I like to, mm -hmm. you know, if you're looking for something to do and you want a mini holiday, <laughs> you don't have to get in the car and spend a lot of money on gas and drive and drive and drive. We've got it right here. Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. There's a parade. You want to tell us about some of the things that are planned? Yeah, it's a, Memorial Day weekend is a busy weekend for us. Um, there's events going on downtown Greenville as well as on the campus at Furman. The big kickoff, of course, is Friday night, downtown Greenville at 6 o'clock. Uh, on that Friday evening, Memorial Day weekend, we begin the parade. The parade steps off at East, North, and Main and proceeds south to the river. Pipe bands, floats, Scottish clans from all over the country will be joining us, as well as dignitaries and, of course, our honored military guest. Um, at the end of the parade, we're going to mass all of our pipe bands, and they're going to march back up Main Street back toward the Hyatt, where you will have Celtic music performed throughout the evening afterwards. So, And it's free. I mean, what better entertainment yeah. could you get for free? And bring the kids. Bring because there's, everybody. It's just terrific. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, I think, I think we have a little bit of, of Highland music and from we shot last year there. The, the heavy athletics. Heavy athletics, and I know that you'll later I be talking to uh, to John Allen, who's our director <laughs> of heavy athletics, and we've got some surprises for this year. But you see there, see that? Look, the kids love this. There's, mm -hmm. there's just, it's good, wholesome mm -hmm. fun, and it also is a learning experience because it incorporates history. And there's the Scottish dancing and the pipers. It's and of course, the British car show. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All, all kind of things going and on that day. And the sheep dogs, and mm -hmm. you know, there couldn't be anything. More fun, mm -hmm. really. And, um, and it's at Furman. It's at Furman all day on Saturday. And it's, so it's easy parking. It's, it's easy to get to. Very easy. And very uh, easy. Furman University, they're very gracious and want us there. They, they are. They are. Because yeah, well, you are. You're too. a part of us, too. You've been a part of us since <laughs> the beginning as well. Um, they are. They're very gracious. They open the doors. And the interesting part is these visiting Scottish dignitaries that are here they say they feel like they are in Scotland because when you're on the campus oh, wow. at Furman with the green and you see the, the foothills and you can see the Blue Ridge Mountains, they feel like they're at home. So I tell folks, all you've got to do is come through the, the front gate at Furman Saturday morning. We'll get you parked. You can come toward the British Car Show on your way in or on your way out and come through the main gate and you have a day of festivities and food and fun. And they have great food. Wonderful food, wonderful Scottish food, as well as good old American favorites like burgers and hot dogs. Something for everybody. <laughs> I love it. And I think it's, I want to talk a little bit about the military. Now, we, we have planned a salute 
of some sort to the military? We, we are doing, this is our second year of our military tribute. Uh, we have members of the Scottish Highland Fusiliers as our honored, honored Scottish military that will be here. As well as now they're we are, sort of important. They are. They are, as it's told to me, they are sort of like our U.S. Marines. Uh, but and these, they're coming from. They Scotland. are coming from Scotland. Uh, they are active duty military. Uh, some of them have been deployed or recently been deployed and have returned. Are these uh, ones that play the bagpipes? No, these are just oh, these no. are just their their members of their military um, that'll be there. And then also we have two South Carolina Army National Guard units that are being. Uh, part of our honored guests. They've just recently come back from a deployment. Also other members of the military. Uh, we have members from the Army, Navy, uh, Marines, Coast Guard. We open and honor all of our military that weekend. So it's, it's a really neat experience and you'll see that in the parade as well as with the opening ceremonies with of course the, the second division Marine Band from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina will be with us, which is just phenomenal to watch. It's very stirring and I guess you, you know you could also bring a picnic if you wanted to. If families chose to do that. I mean, there's, you know, there's, it's just endless possibilities. Mm -hmm. And the, to watch the dancing. You watch, you have the Highland Dancing, and, co the, it's a competition, as well as they have some demonstrators. And if you want to learn how to Highland dance, they have an area where you can actually go and they'll be glad to show you how. And I guess they have the Scottish harps and they have, you know, there's just something, it, whatever you have. And if you're interested in history. Definitely. And they're, they're last in past years, they've had like a little Scottish village or something for children. We I have We Scotland. We and Scotland. We Scotland. And, it. they, and it's neat because they have the little athletic competitions for the little ones as well as the climbing wall and the misting tents and all kind of things. Brooke will spend some time there during the day as well as our teen Miss Greenville Scottish Games. Uh, they'll be signing autographs and having pictures made. So it's a great place for the kids and the nice part about it you know that your kids are in a good, safe, secure environment. It's a safe environment, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I'm just throwing this out because I didn't know, but last year there was something where certain active military people were admitted free or what? Are you gonna have something like that for the military this year? We will acknowledge all of our military. So if you are in the military, please bring your military ID. Um, and you don't pay at the gate. That, that individual in. is, that's correct. And it's a one day, it's a one day. All day Saturday. We open the gates around 8 a.m. Uh, opening ceremonies are at 10.30. Um, the, the pageantry and the precision of opening ceremonies, I tell folks, regardless of how early you get there, make sure at 10.30 you are around that main field to watch that unfold. Because you have pipe bands entering, you have the marine band entering, you have all the Scottish clans are acknowledged. All of our military and our, our, our dignitaries, our guests, um, and of course this year our honored clan is Clan Hamilton uh, because their clan chief, who is in his early to mid 30s, one of the youngest clan chiefs in the system, the du is the Duke of Hamilton. He is, right? he is. He is the Scottish peer. He is the highest ranking member of the Scottish clan system. And we joke when we laugh. He's the only person allowed to walk in front of the Queen of England. He precedes her at the opening of Scottish Parliament and actually carries her crown. Um, but he will be our honored guest, and, <laughs> and by what the correspondence, he's as excited as cut to be coming as we are to have him as our guest. So it's going to be a really fun, fun weekend. This, this sort of grew like topsy. I mean, it started about seven years ago, and it was just a small event. We and jokingly say when we get together, this was started by a band of misfits who all had Scottish heritage who wanted to have a, a little Highland festival is how they put it. Uh, and in seven years, with an all, no one gets paid. We're an all-volunteer organization. Everybody yeah. volunteer. Our board, the folks that work the games that day. Brooke, <laughs> you know, she's a volunteer. <laughs> but throughout the day, we're all a volunteer. No one's paid, and we have become one of the premier games in the country. Um, and we realize that when some of the representatives that we have had ongoing relationships with in Scotland said, you know, it's kind of interesting when you go to the to the gathering of clan chiefs in Scotland. And they're saying, if you ever are invited to Greenville, go. So let's put Greenville oh, yes. in we a are. very high mm -hmm. standing yes. mm -hmm. for something so insignificant to begin. Exactly. We're going to well, film Braveheart 2 here <laughs> in Greenville. <laughs> that would be a great thing. I know we've got the perfect place for it. <laughs> but the interesting part, you know, we, we like to, and I love to tell people, we are the only games outside the United Kingdom who's had a member of the royal family. And that was when Prince Edward was here with us two years ago. And this year with getting the, the top member of, of Scottish royalty, so to speak, 
with us this year. It's a, it's a very, very high honor for us. And, and of course, it's all, as you say, it's all volunteers. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't, you know, I don't usually talk about money, but people need to know if you're planning, how much does it cost for the day? Tickets, uh, it's one ticket gets you access to everything. All day long. All day long. Once you come through the gates, you're there. And I think I'm correct. Adults are 15, I believe. Okay. Um, I think children under 12 or maybe 10 bucks. I'll find out and get you the correct information okay. you can put it out to your, yeah. To your Yeah, but viewers. so it's a whole day's entertainment. Oh, yeah. It's like a, a mini holiday. Exactly. It really is. And, it really uh, is. So if two people went to a movie, you'd spend as much as you'd spend all day at, at mm -hmm. And there's Furman. plenty to do. Like we said, there's good food. There's plenty of entertainment. Um, you know, watch the activities on the field, the piping competition. Go inside and watch the Highland dancing competition. There's plenty to do. Um, and you can make the day of it. And then that night, after we close the gates around 5 o'clock that evening, we kind of get everything cleaned up. We will reopen the gates that evening around 7, 6.30 to 7. And for our Celtic Jam, which is our featured Celtic bands that have been there, Cleghorn, um, Coyote Run, and Albanock is back with us this year. Um, they will actually be performing that night at a concert, and those tickets are like five bucks. And that's at Furman yes, now, as well. So everything is out there. Everything on Saturday is at Furman. We had some footage from past years, and I think the director has it back there. Mm -hmm. And if, mm -hmm. if he does, it would be fun so that people who haven't been can get an idea of what you're talking about. This is, so the, par this is the parade you see, um, and this is from two years ago when the Prince was here, members of Scottish royalty, uh, some of the different floats that are in the parade. Uh, so, and you see, look at all the people. This is Albanock. They uh, have a following from literally across the world that come in. All the different clans are shown. This is part of the opening ceremonies uh, from two years ago. Uh, and, you know, you see, there's just all kind of thing, arts, food, the heavy athletics, which you'll hear more about from John Allen. Uh, it's just, a, it makes for just a phenomenal, phenomenal day. The kids in Wee Scotland, it's just a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It is indeed. Well, um, Brooke, yes. you <clears throat> have um, a song. Yes. Oh, I have And I'm going to ask you about it. Um, okay. You're going to sing for us in a moment, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to ask you, you've chosen to sing the Star Spangled Banner, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. When we come, we're going to take a quick break, Okay. and we're going to come back, and I want, I want to talk to you about that. This is a All verse right. that we don't, I didn't really know the words <laughs> to this I verse. I know, not many people <laughs> have heard it, but. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Welcome back, and we've been visiting here and talking about the events of the Greenville Scottish Games, which will be coming up Memorial Day weekend, and it's a very festive, fun thing for the whole family. And Dean Harbert is here, and of course, he's on their board of directors, and we have Brooke Mosteller, and Brooke is Miss Greenville Scottish Games, but she's also uh -huh. going to be in our Miss South Carolina pageant, and you're yes, a singer. A senior at Furman, but yes, you don't really quote yourself as a musician. You're going to law school. The, the music is kind of like something you enjoy, I, right? I love it, yes, ma'am, but it's, it's had to be on the side. I'm, I'm on the cross country and track team at Furman, so that's kind of had to take precedence. Um, Got to use my body while it's young. <laughs> take my <laughs> Oh, take poor thing, we're feeling so sorry for it. <laughs> right. Yeah, now tell me what, as Miss South Carolina, you have, everybody has a platform. Yes, ma'am. What, what are you doing? Um, people really choose what they're interested in or passionate about or knowledgeable about. And um, I, being a political science major, I'm just interested in the Constitution and just America in general. Um, and one of our biggest principles is equality. And I think one of the biggest sources of inequality is income. Um, and one of the best ways to control your income is education. So. It's, my platform is um, South Carolina Can Go Higher, and it's unlocking the front door to higher education through College Application Day. So College Application Day is the initiative, and that is my main platform. That's the it of it. And um, the goal is to just help kids apply for college. And so it's That's gone. It's kind of scary, too. It's, it is scary. And um, it's, 
it's scary. When I was a senior in high school, I was salutatorian in my class. My parents were involved. I had I had all the resources to help me apply to college, but it was it was really a, a challenge still. Um, and I thought if it was hard for me, it's probably hard for a lot of other kids who don't have as much to work with. Um, so, so that's your outreach is to help kids get ready. Yes, ma'am. And it's College Application Day is an initiative that starts it in the high schools and kids apply for college during their high school hours um, in, in a computer clustered kind of environment. So in the library maybe where they have all these computers around. Mm -hmm. um, so the seniors will go into these into the library where the computers are and they'll apply for college with the help of guidance counselors and teachers and um, just other volunteers. We started it at, at Furman where um, some of us will get, went out into the community and that's other interesting high so that's helped. what you do that that's your outreach yes ma'am mm -hmm. do you go to different high schools then and talk to the kids or what yes ma'am um, that's what we did at at Furman um, we had you put the crown on you know they're gonna be impressed <laughs> <laughs> right I haven't tried that yet <laughs> it takes place usually in the fall but it's gone from 10 high schools it's only been three years long 10 high schools to 120 high schools across the across the state so it's it really is a statewide thing, and um, just in this past fall, 20,000 seniors applied for college through through the program, and it's to really target minority students and first generation students. And um, that's fabulous. It, it is. We've had mothers come up crying, just saying, "I didn't, I didn't know my son could go to college." So, and the other goal is to kind of use peer pressure in a positive way. You know, like if oh well, if Joe's going to go apply for college today, I guess I'll do it too. Um, and just to really get them started and getting get them, them confidence mm -hmm, and to have to give them the expectation and the standard that yes you can go to college and there is something past high school um, so it's I'm, I'm really excited about it and it's something that's been so successful in the state it could go it could just be in across the nation too um, and it's really high school specific the high school is in charge of creating it and making what they making it what they need it to be. Well now is this you've gone into various high schools around. Yes ma'am. And do you talk directly to the kids or how does it work? Does does the high school have to invite you in? Or? We we have to we have to um, be in contact with them because they set up what day is best for them and what um, what's the best way to do it? Do they want to do it all day? Do they want to do it in segments of like two hours? And so we would us, me and some of the other, my other Furman volunteers, I guess, we would go to the schools and um, just answer questions about college or tell them about college while they're actually doing the application, while okay. they're working on it. Has this, have you had any feedback? You mentioned one parent, but have, from parents yes. that this has been helpful. This is all done online, a right. lot of it, mm -hmm. right? Yes, Today. and that's why they have to be the computer, computer kind of clustered environment for them to be able to do it. Um, but actually, it, I worked with the Commission on Higher Education, for the South Carolina Commission on Higher Education, and Indi Indianapolis, they're going to Indianapolis in a few weeks because they, their Commission on Higher Education has found out about the program and um, want to possibly implement it in, in, in Indiana. <laughs> so you, so, will you be going or just some of the other people? It's, it's, all, it's during my class days, and I just have a few class days left. I, I would love to go, but it's still up in the air. I'll let you know. Now, what do you call this program? College Application Day. Just um, So the high school picks a day where they want to have College Application Day. And we try to get all the teachers to wear their college, you know, out, out their alma mater outfits or T-shirts or anything, just to, just to tell the kids about about their college experience too. And you give them confidence that they can also be achievers. Yes, well it's not only it's not only a mindset and, and confidence, but it's also the actual getting online and filling out the application, which really shouldn't be a, a, the big challenge. The big challenge should be, you know, um, all the, it should just be merit-based, not really Mm -hmm. the, the process shouldn't be the challenge. Um, and, it's, and some kids didn't even know um, on the application they'll ask about extracurricular activities and she's like, oh, I don't really have anything. And she was volunteering at her church Sunday school 
helping in the church nursery at every Sunday for two hours and she didn't even know to put that. So it's just little things like that that pe people don't even know. That you can give them right, that we can, so. Exactly, exactly. And her parents might not have known either. And if they didn't have this, this initiative, I guess, or this big program at their school, then they'd have to do it all by themselves. And um, it's just everyone's going through the, the exact same process at the same time, so we thought everyone should do it together. <laughs> so that is what you're going to present in the Miss South Carolina, and that, when is that pageant? It's the second weekend in July, so July um, 14th is, is the big day, but I think it's the 7th through the 14th. Okay, yes, so yeah. that, I mean, that's in always, Columbia. and it's, it's in Columbia, Columbia this yes, year, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Well, it sounds to me like that's quite an outreach that you're involved in. Mm-hmm, um, and it's, it's already been so, so great, um, and I think there are, about 250 high schools in this in the state so um we still got some reaching to do but <laughs> so you're not going to give gross. up on that oh no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am not at all it's been it's been so successful and 50 percent of those of the 20,000 kids who who applied were um, minority students and 25 percent were first generation um, high school students. And so. I think that I just am curious mm -hmm. before we get out of it, how did you get in, how did you choose that as something that was so important to you? Oh, well really when when I was going through my college application process, I just thought it was it was challenging when it didn't have to be. And my mom was is on the was on the commission on higher education. So she and I were were just working through it and we came up with this idea that I've, it should really be something that everyone does together because everyone okay. is going through the so same process. So you can process. support each other. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. And it takes okay. a lot off the guidance counselors okay. too. They okay. love it. Well, we have, uh, we, we just, I don't know how long, but we have a little roll in. And will that give us time also to have our, our song from Miss South Carolina? We want Miss South Carolina to sing. Or the future right, Miss South Carolina. South Carolina. <laughs> future Miss South Carolina. Miss Scottish, Greenville Scottish Games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we're ready with that, I don't know how much time we have left. But, okay. Remember, put it on your calendar. The Memorial Day weekend. Everybody's welcome. The parade downtown is free. And everybody just get out there and take your American flags and wave them and cheer everybody on. It's going to be a great weekend for the whole family. And we're just so pleased. Dean Herbert, thank you for coming. Thank you for allowing and us. And here she is, and she's going to <laughs> sing for us a verse of our own national anthem. The fourth verse. And the sea is air when free men shall stand between their loved home and the war's desolation. Blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven-rescued land praise the power that hath made and preserved us a nation. And a conquer we must when our cause it is just. And this be our motto in God is our trust. And the stars bend.